She promised that this time would be different. But everywhere has problems. Finding a new favorite TV show to watch is great. You have something to look forward to each day. But most importantly, you can social media stalk the life out of your favorite characters. Netflix series Ginny and Georgia has become a recent obsession for millions out there. The show follows a mother and teenage daughter as they move somewhere new in a bid to start afresh. It sounds a lot like the Gilmore Girls, but there's more modernism to it. The cast of Ginny and Georgia is all a critic looks for in a good comedy drama series. Here's everything you want to know and more about the cast of Ginny and Georgia. Stick around till the end to know their real life partners too. Let's begin. Number 8. Brienne Howie as Georgia Brienne Howie co-headlines Ginny and Georgia's cast as Georgia, a woman with a troubled past who attempts to survive at all costs. She maintains a perma grin from episode to episode, but her actions suggest that she's not actually all that sweet. Her character is very different from the other lead woman in the other TV shows, and we just love it. Howie has a pretty good acting portfolio. Previously, she served as a series regular on The Foxes, The Exorcist, and The Passage. She also had a recurring role in The CW's Batwoman. In the show, Georgia is 30 years old, and in real life, she's actually 31, meaning there isn't a huge age gap between her and the character she's playing. Brianne Howie is in a relationship with Matt Ziering, who appears to be a lawyer. She actually met her future husband in the restaurant where Matt was celebrating after taking the bar exam. The couple was supposed to get married in 2020, but couldn't because of the pandemic. To make up for it, they adopted a dog. Number 7. Antonia Gentry as Ginny Miller Ginny who is 15 in the show, is played by Antonia Gentry, who is 23 in real life, meaning there are eight years between her and her character. In the show, she's a teenage girl who moves from Texas to Massachusetts with her mother and brother. Ginny provides voiceover narration throughout Ginny and Georgia and realizes that she's perhaps becoming too much like her mother over the course of the season. In real life, Antonia Gentry has a boyfriend named Ezra Pounds. He's an Atlanta-based producer and composer who attended the same performing arts school as her, and the two have seemingly been together since at least 2012. Gentry and Pounds post tons of loved-up pictures together on Instagram. Previously, the actress starred in Netflix's Candy Jar and Driver's Ed, Tales from the Street. Gentry can also be seen in Netflix's Rising Dion. Additionally, she appeared in two short films. Number 6. Felix Mallard as Marcus Felix Mallard plays Marcus, who's also 15 and at school with Ginny. He's initially attracted to Ginny, but feels loyal to his girlfriend Padma. Marcus struggles with depression after losing a good friend to cancer. Mallard portrayed Lucas Caravaggio in Lock and Key and Aiden in Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. He also appeared as Romer in the 2020 film All the Bright Places. Mallard was born on April 20th in 1998, making him 22 in real life. His age isn't the only thing he's disguising in the series, he's also an Aussie. Felix Mallard doesn't share much about his dating life, but it seems as though the actor is single for the time being. The actor is actually quite different looking in real life. He has much longer hair and loves surfing and photography. Out of the Ginny and Georgia cast Instagrams, he has the most followers with just under 2 million. I reckon they're all there for the occasional dreamy selfie. Number 5. Sarah Wiseglass as Maxine Best known for playing Frankie on the long-running teen drama Degrassi The Next Generation, 22-year-old Sarah Wiseglass steps into a different kind of teen role as Max Baker or Maxine. She's an unapologetic free spirit who's quickly drawn into Ginny's orbit when the later calls out their AP English teacher syllabus for being full of novels written by white men. Max is gay, loud, opinionated, and unafraid to take up a room like a true theatre kid. She's only a couple of months younger than her on-screen twin. Like Mallard, Sarah Wiseglass isn't one to open up about her romantic relationships, but it seems the actor is currently single. On the big screen, Sarah Wiseglass stars in Afterwards, Life, 2015, Mary Goes Round, an assortment of Christmas tales in no particular order, and Tainted. Number 4. Scott Porter as Paul Randolph in Friday Night Lights, actor Scott Porter played the part of the high school football star. Now 15 years later, he's stepping into the role of the town mayor, Paul Randolph. It doesn't take Georgia long to set her sights on Wellsbury's most eligible bachelor and secure herself a job in his political office. As far as powerful men go, Paul is a nice guy and seems perfectly unaware of Georgia's machinations. 
Scott is 41 years old and he's most recognizable for his portrayal of Jason Street in Friday Night Lights. But he's since done a slew of voice work for animated series like The Ultimate, Spider-Man and Avengers Assemble. Scott Porter met his longtime love, Kelsey Mayfield, when she made a guest appearance on an episode of Friday Night Lights in 2008. Just about five years after meeting, the couple tied the knot in April 2013 and they've welcomed two children together since. Number three... Katie Douglas's Abby. Katie Douglas portrays Abby in Ginny and Georgia, a member of Ginny's man group. She reaches out to friends in group chats and often feels like she's not supported, especially when her parents separate. Abby is 15 in the series, but Katie is 22 in real life, meaning she and her character have a seven year age gap. She was born on October 19, 1998, and is the youngest of the high school cast. Away from Ginny and Georgia, Douglas is known for the Canadian drama Mary Kills People. She also appeared in Discovery Family's Spooksville. Douglas had the main part in Rising Expectations, as well as recurring roles in Defiance, Less Than Kind, and Eyewitness. Katie posts pictures with friends on Instagram, but little is known about Katie Douglas's dating life, so current relationship status is unclear. Number 2. Raymond Ablack as Joe 31-year-old actor Raymond Ablack stars as Joe the local restaurateur who's a little gruff and rough around the edges, but has a growing soft spot for Georgia. Joe and Georgia immediately hit it off, in part because they're both outsiders to the town's obnoxious upper crust. They also know the value of a good scam and the meaning behind the phrase, eat the rich. Toronto-born Raymond started acting as a child, and he's also a former Degrassi alumnus. He played Sav Bhandari in five seasons and over 100 episodes of the long-running teen soap. Since his time on Degrassi, he starred on Orphan Black, Defiance, Shadowhunters, and Narcos. Sadly, Raymond Ablack is pretty tight-lipped about his love life, so it's unclear whether he's currently in a relationship. He does post pictures with family and friends and seems to have a pretty fun social life. Number 1. Jennifer Robertson as Ellen Baker Ellen Baker is the neighbor of the Miller family who also has two young teens who grow close to Ginny. She has a pretty prominent role in Ginny and Georgia. Ellen is played by Jennifer Robertson, who's 49 and perhaps best known for playing Jocelyn in Schitt's Creek. She's also appeared in Saving Hope and Degrassi The Next Generation. In films, Robertson appears in Twitches, Sassy Pants, Undercover Grandpa, and To Die For, which she also wrote. Additionally, outside acting, Jennifer Robertson wrote the home show, Point Blank, Sketchcom, and Scaredy Squirrel. It's not clear whether Robertson is taken. She did get engaged back in 2019 with her fiancé, Andrew Homier. Robertson announced the exciting news in a since-deleted Instagram post. It's unclear whether the deleted Instagram post means the engagement was called off. Well, that's it for today, folks. Who is your favorite character on Ginny and Georgia, and what are your thoughts about the next season? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.